So today is June 2nd. Today I was working on getting my Amazon listings um, completed. I'm having a problem with them though because the only thing that I see for category under a cup holder is under the bathroom category. So I'm not quite sure where to put our product. And so I have sent an email over to Casey with Amazon Exclusives hoping that he can get us the information we need. Some of our um, other cup holder products out there on the market uh, will go under coasters. So I just am waiting to hear back to see what their team, since they're uh, in charge of uh, search optimization and things of that nature, that they can help me out here. And just to let you know, you know, starting a business, you still have to be a mom, still driving, still, um, you know, having to do your normal job and your normal life in addition to preparing for this big event and all this stuff. Today, I also ordered my boxes. So those are coming on Monday via freight from California. I ordered about 1,600 boxes. Don't know if that's gonna be enough or not. We got in uh, our stickers that we're gonna be putting on the outside of those boxes. And I ordered a few more labels. I have been having some problems with formatting my labels um, and just trying to you know, figure that out. I've done a couple test runs. The image, the logo on the label is just kind of grainy. So I'm trying to figure out if I can't fix it. I re-uploaded a really high quality image and I just still am having a hard time making it, um, making it right. So that's kind of uh, where I'm at. If I can't get it not grainy, I have to figure out if I just want to remove that. So that's what I'm working on. Um, Amazon's the primary thing. And we did have to migrate our database to a different kind of server on our website in preparation of the showing. So I'm not noticing anything different. It seems to be running perfectly. And uh, oh, one other thing I'm trying to figure out is how to add expedited shipping. Most of our packages will be done by FedEx Smart Post, and that's a two to seven day shipping window. Now, the rates on those, as I've said previously, is really good. But there might be people who don't really care. They just want their product right away and they'll pay more money for it. So I'm wanting to do an expedited option. And that's a really hard thing to integrate right now because I'm using a flat rate option. And in order to do a real-time pricing of a two-day FedEx, is you can't do both. You can't do a flat rate plus a real-time rate. So I'm trying to find a workaround for that as well. Uh, another last thing that I've been having a little bit of an issue with is our international shipping options. Um, I think what we're going to do is to just divert the people who are international to eBay, to our eBay store, and order through the eBay Global Post program there. So we were gonna use a company called International Checkout, but for some reason they said our product uh, amount is just too small, the actual dollar amount. So they really, we didn't fit their, their uh, customer profile, I guess. So right now we're not going to have International Checkout options on our website and people will have to go to eBay. And I will be looking into that because I think that um, we have talked about shipping costs and the fact that our product is so lightweight, but it's, a, it's big um, as far as shipping is concerned. So I am willing to maybe consider shrink uh, vacuum sealing to shrink the size of the package. I was not willing to do that for our domestic orders because I think it looks tacky. But I think with international customers, um, if they can get it over there, we'll kind of, I guess I can overlook that tacky issue. I just, I just think that if people pay for a product, they're not going to want it all like, you know, vacuum sealed and flat when they get it. You know, some of those mattress companies that just, you know, ship it to you in a box and then it like expands and you think how in the heck did that ever fit in the box? 
yeah something like that but only for international customers because um, I got to I got to keep things real here in the US but that's uh, where we're at today I feel like I really didn't get a lot done today I feel like um, I'm just in like limbo land on a lot of things we have not been given the official okay yet to tell anybody um, that we're going to be on the show yet. So there's just not a whole lot I can do. I have my I have my press release ready to go, um, but I'm waiting to hear back. I'm just waiting to hear back. That's it. Okay, June second in the tank. Ooh, didn't mean for the, that pun. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to come up with a. I'm gonna have to come up with another analogy that has nothing to do with Shark Tank. All right, peace out. Get a cup cozy pillow.